back in the studio, Sins Wonder, a.k.a. AKA what are you this week? Big sexy. Oh, and we all know why you're big sexy, because, well, you're big and goddamn sexy. I try to be, you know. Booyah. So, I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, excited. It's one of my favorite shoes. Ever? It's up there. So, there, top ten? It is a top ten shoe Ooh. for Ooh, me. So, this oh, is going to yeah. be a good video. For sure. Oh, it is going to be a good video. What we're looking at here is the Adidas Aniki Runner. Uh, I know a lot of shows have been done on this one already, uh, and for good reason. All right, might be a little late to the game on it. A little late to the game, but I wanted to wear them and wear them, like wear them for real. Nice little wear test. Yep. Uh, so I've been wearing these for about a year, and I wear these twice a week. As you can tell from the wear and tear, they are not clean in any way, <laughs> shape, or form. Uh, they have a lot of wear on them, and I liked them enough that I bought. A lot of life on them. They have a lot of life. Uh, I've done all kinds of stuff in these, work, dog park, gym, uh, they've pretty much ran the whole gamut. Damn. Yeah. Yep. Um, and you just recently picked them I up, just, yeah? I just recently got into the... Got on the Nikki uh, runner train. Train, I guess. Is that what you call it? You know? That's what I'm going to call it. Um, you got on board. I got on board. All I, right. I hopped on the train. What do you think of them? I love them. Yeah. Um... The obviously it's a boosted shoe. It is a boosted shoe. Um, I like the whole old school vibe to it. If you look at it, I mean, it, it looks like a what, like a nineteen seventies. I would say yeah. Upper up the upper at least. Like yep. it's just you know the uh, nylon rip stop. Yep. Well, yours is different. Yeah, mine, mine is more suede and. Uh, yeah, well, let's let's check that out. Yeah, uh, so mine, this yeah, pair I anyway. Thinking. I have two pairs, but this pair, mostly rip stop. Uh, has some the the stripes are tape, uh, suede on the back, suede on the toe, and then this young man somehow got a premium deal. Uh, can't really see it, but it's suede toe, suede heel cup, suede stripes, and then some kind of woven Mesh. cotton yeah. toe box. Very breathable. Yeah, so that's actually really cool. I guess I never noticed it until um, Start reviewing just it. now, actually. Oh, there goes my table. Uh, yeah. Uh, so here we are looking at these shoes. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into these metrics because I, right uh, I think we need to. We haven't done it in a while. That's true. So A little rusty on we, the metrics. We probably are. <sighs> Can't win them all. That's true. Life gets in the way. You Life know what I mean. Uh, so actually, I'm gonna raise this table back up. Ooh, it's a party in here. It's a party. Looks. Where'd you put the looks? I Not your looks. Oh my! I mean, I know oh. you're big, sexy. Me, I'm ten all day. Ten all day, er, day. Every day. But if all we're right. talking about the shoes, talking about the shoes. I gave it an eight. An eight. An eight. What'd okay. You give it? I gave it an eight and a half. Ooh. So why not a ten? Where does it fall off? What is your beef? My beef. What's your beef? Is that it? It doesn't have a lot of like. Um, so this one doesn't have a lot of pop. It's not, you know. Uh, yeah. I feel like the an eight's high, obviously. So I think it looks good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not a bad score. Don't not, get me wrong. Right. I'm just yeah. asking where I lost some points. Uh, the only points that I give it a loss for is just the uh, there's no good uh, hold. Like there's no good stick out point. It's okay. all it's all squishy. There's no good uh, um, this is flare. N- nothing that pops out. Nothing pops out. Okay. All right. So it's just kind of a plain Jane. Plain Jane. And I mean, obviously, you can get colorways where they do pop. Right. But it's still just the model is just. It's a minimal shoe. Minimal. Yeah. Okay. All right. I can dig that. Uh, I gave it eight and a half. Gave it a little higher score than you did. Not by much, but. Right. Not by far. Uh, I would agree with you. It is a minimal minimalist type shoe. Is that a word? Yeah. I think it is. Um, simple. I'm, I'm going to run simple? with it. It is a simple shoe. Um, that's why I gave it eight and a half, though. Mm. Uh, that's why I gave it the good score. The. Only points it really got knocked off on is maybe the lace length is ridiculous, really uh, yeah, and I've, I've been noticing you. that a lot with Adidas lately. Uh, the laces on your shoes, come on, man! Like, please, 
it's like a 50 foot extension cord yeah. that you have wrapped through your shoe and i have it laced all the way up and i have to wear them loose i hate wearing loose shoes you know i hate wearing loose shoes that's true you're not um, like me so a lace swap on these are almost and have to you have to do it okay you know uh i still got the original guys in here just for the video uh, but I do switch the laces on these, uh, FYI. Buy shorter laces. Uh, Fit-wise, I guess that rolls right into fit too, right? Wrong laces, wrong fit. Uh, and especially on my version, yours is probably a little more sturdy than mine, actually. I bet you this feels more like an Ultra Boost. It does. Um, mine feels like an old 70s. You know, running shoe like Force Gump would have been wearing these. Some, some. Uh, I don't know. Cortezes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's they do remind me. It's just like a um, like an old Samba. Yep. You know, they don't Which have. I confused it. Uh, the upper with right. The oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it kind of has a Samba look to it in the toe box. I I, I can dig that. Uh, the but the bummer is, the, there's just no support. Yes. It's... So. They fit okay. They're super light. Uh, you can wear them around. Um, they're not going to be for any kind of real Moving, performance. No running. Nah, I wouldn't run in these. I wouldn't You'd lift them because you're going to drop a weight and it's going to hit that toe. Yeah, no, nah, you're. I would not do that. So uh, no ankle support at all. No. no. Uh, how about you, fit-wise? I gave it a 7. Uh, everything you just said I agree with. Um, as you guys can see, they're just flimsy. Yeah. Uh, it kind of reminds you of... Uh, of a um, Nike um, uh, Cortez, you know, how you can just squish it. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, those are all the ripstop nylon. You true. Know, the original ones. Right. Uh, again, I, I never noticed that yours is a different uh, material. material. So maybe these are better than mine. Uh, these literally feel like I'm just putting on a thin sock with a boot sole on them, which right. isn't all bad no. at times. Nope. Uh, it's good for some things. It's not good right. for other things. Uh, that rolls right into performance. performance. I scored it pretty low, uh, a seven, I, which uh, is, I guess, above average. But eh. um, the only reason it gets above average at all for me is because of the boost sole. Yep, the the comfortability makes it jump up. Yeah, if it didn't have a boost sole, then it, it would probably be in the floor. No, if this had a cloud foam sole, it well, one, it'd be garbage anyway. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have bought it to begin with. Right. But you know, uh, I think they do have something very similar to the shoe mm -hmm. with a cloud foam they sole. Do. Yep. Um, but I would never buy yeah, it. It's the. Uh, I don't know what they're called. The, the uh, J C Penny special. It is a J C Penny special. That's a shoe carnival. Shoe carnival all day, er day. Coles. <laughs> Sunday paper. I, Cole's going to end up suing us. I know. I hate Cole's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, performance-wise, you're not going to do any kind of real performance, uh, no. anything in these shoes. There's not enough support for your ankle. There's not enough support for your foot bones. I know that sounds weird, uh, but when I run in a shoe that doesn't have any uh, real tightness to it. Especially around the ankle. Yeah, uh, top of my feet just kill me the next yes. day because my yes. you know your bones inside your feet move around right, right. so i would not use this. this is a casual shoe only yep. casual 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 it's a one trick pony it looks awesome yep. uh, trying to be out there trying to be yeah. like big sexy you know yeah that's you ain't gonna be for. big sexy in the gym with these you're no. gonna be big feet hurting that's right that's what's gonna be uh cost what'd you give it i gave it a 10 now tell me about <laughs> tell me about this $34 deal you got for these bad boys right here. 34 bucks. Tell me about it. So, we're on vacation. Okay. Uh, we go to the Adidas outlet, and uh, these I bad boys... Adidas outlets. I uh, love you, the outlets. I wish... I, I should have just doubled up on them just to wear one per, pair to, to beat through, you know? Oh, yeah. But I didn't. Um, the back wall was 50% off. Yes. And in, I was in Pennsylvania. They have no sales tax. Interesting. So, Either is Texas. So, you know, I went up there thinking, oh, it's going to be like 40 bucks. Yeah. 34 bucks. I was like, deal. Oh, man. Do they have other colorways? They had one other colorway, which is kind of good. It was all leather. No, they, like, they had an all leather pair. Interesting. Very, uh, it was all leather. So it was all the same colorway as that one, but it was leather with gray stripes. Uh, it did not look nowhere near as good being leather. Uh, really? It just threw me off. 
Okay. It reminded me of a... Well, are they $34 okay, though? They were $34 okay. Okay. All right. But the material, it just looked cheap. It looked like a tire. Like Really? It just was cheap looking. Okay. So Fair enough. I, uh, I didn't like it. Um, Fair enough. When I envision the shoe, I envision it like this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The soft it's, it's supposed to be a yeah. minimal, low quality, or not low quality, but uh, uh, like a more entry level material, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you're not thinking premium materials. True. Uh, when you think about this shoe, at least I don't. I think this is one of those casual shoes yep. that you go kicking at the mall with. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You're not. Nice summer shoe, too. It's a great summer shoe. Breathes really well, right? Um, you know, it kind of reminds me of a. Have you ever seen an all leather Chuck Taylor? Oh yeah, those yeah. are those trash uh, city. Tra people love them though, but <sighs> people are dumb though. They're I for one I hate them. Right, <laughs> people are for wearing leather uh, Chuck Taylors. Yeah, uh, but that's what it reminded me of too. Like you take a shoe that's not supposed to be. Yeah, I've you know, seen them. I've seen them. Didn't Will Smith have a pair of those yeah, stupid things in so. that I Am Robot or I, whatever it was? He had the black and white pair. Yeah, of the original that was garbage. Yeah. Uh, so cost for me, I gave it a nine, just because you can pick these up between sixty and eighty bucks all day long. For sixty bucks, honestly, I can't believe I only have two pairs. Yeah. It's... Um, they make so many funky colorways yeah. that kind of you know go back to the seventies. They have sure like that do. weird blue and pink, pink color. Uh, they awesome have color, uh, the pastel colors. Yeah, a lot of pastels. Um, Right. Men and women. The women, I think, actually have the cooler colorways, yep. I'll be honest with you. Uh, mm -hmm. And that seems to go that way with a lot of shoes. Yep. Uh, but this shoe in particular, uh, ladies, jump on this shoe. It is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable, too. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. So, uh, availability, 10. 10. Everywhere. Anywhere. Everywhere. You can, everywhere. You can, anywhere. Anywhere. You can get them anywhere. all over the place. Everywhere. Uh, finish line. Yep. Outlets. Yep. Get them at your outlets. Yep. Uh, yeah, check out the outlet. For now, sure. the last one I went to, I went to in Aurora, Ohio, which, if anybody doesn't know where that is, uh, it's south of Cleveland. Mm, okay. Um, uh, about a two-hour drive from us, uh, but it's definitely worth the drive. They didn't have any Nike runners, but I did pick up some other gems, and, you know, we'll talk about that at a different time, but definitely hit the outlets. The Adidas outlets are usually pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I'd say they're better than most Nike outlets. Nike, agree. I think Nike outlets are... Uh, people go in there and just de take everything that's sweet right away. And resell yeah, it. I think it. The uh, when, anytime I got there, it was all scraps. Yeah, every time it was all there. scraps. Don't go on weekends. Oh. The, the last time, actually, funny story, and I, I don't mean to get off topic, but when we went to Aurora, the Nike outlet, you had to wait in line to get in. Oh, you're not. And then it was forty five minutes to wait in line to get out. Yeah, you're not gonna get anything. Nah. No, no, I was good. Yeah, for sure. There wasn't anything in there I needed that bad. No, you're gonna get a bunch of monarchs. <laughs> Which Kyle, yeah, Kyle, if you're listening, uh, you know, you got the a shout out with the monarchs. That's right. You That's better, right. you better comment, Mister Schuster. Uh, yeah, go get your monarchs at the Aurora Outlet. I think they're like forty bucks. Yeah. Uh, we're getting way off topic here. Speaking uh, of calls. but you know, Fourth of July, not really. And I'll say this: it's Fourth of July, right? That's right. What do you do on Fourth of July? You put on your dad's shoes, you go out, you mow your lawn. It's true. So it came full circle on this. Sure did. Uh, a Nike runner, 8.5, 8, 7, 9, 10. That adds up to 42.5 for me. How about you? you I didn't do math. I uh, didn't do yeah, math. you can't do them. That's fine. It's pretty close to what I said. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, so let's go with 42.5. Uh, Jeremy's not good at adding stuff up. Numbers are hard. Numbers are uh, hard. And I wrote mine down. I should have wrote mine down. I wrote mine down. You can actually see it. See, these are my notes right here. In case you didn't know, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's you know, professional. professional. I'm, a, I'm a goddamn professional. God damn it. So, well, now we know. Now we know. But thanks for joining us on your holiday. Uh, I will try to get this edited and out as soon as possible. Um, that's going pretty cool. Let me know what you think of the new edits. Let me know if you like how it's cut. If you want to see more stuff, if you want to.